studying for my NCLEX exam and um, all the studying paid off because I did pass the NCLEX exam pay me so um, yeah I've been busy with studying and things like that and so I'm so sorry I've had like three four birthdays I just passed and you know celebrations and things like that um, if you check out my Instagram I do have pictures of what's been going on with my life at one J. So if you can't catch me on YouTube, you can always catch me on Instagram or Twitter at one J. Anyway, I teamed up with Nayla's makeup, and we're going to show you guys our favorite holiday lipsticks. To check out her video, the link is below. So the first one that I'm going to show you is the one that I have on, which is the YSL. I don't know how to pronounce this. Rouge Voluptuous. A rouge for love day something but it's the number 17 and it's so pretty it's like a fire engine red kind of color like a red with like a little bit of orange to it <clears throat> I love these lipsticks because they are so silky and moisturizing and it just glides on and it's just so it just makes your lips feel so luxurious these things are expensive I don't have too many I only have like two of them and these go for like $35 each, probably, probably almost $40 for tax. These lipsticks are very expensive. And this is something that, you know, I'm not going to be wearing throughout the year because um, uh, I don't want to pay $40 every so often for the same lipstick. So I'm going to be wearing this during the holidays. And it's so pretty. What I have it topped with is Riri Woo the Lip Glass, which is like a matte lip gloss. I was kind of hoping that this would have some shimmer to it, but it doesn't. Or no glitter, no shimmer, no nothing, just a matte lip gloss. And I have it outlined in the MAC, <coughs> my MAC um, lip liner and burgundy. So, yeah, I actually did a tutorial for this look that I'm going to be posting pretty soon. So, yeah, please watch that. The next lipstick I want to talk about, since we are on the subject of MAC, is Max um, or Remove Hole, which is a very pretty, deep, deep, like fuchsia kind of color, almost plum, but it's so pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. This lipstick is a retro matte lipstick, so it's a little drying. So if you do have this, you may want to use a really good moisturizer. And I usually will line this with a lip liner, but I'm just gonna show you how the color is. So I'm not gonna even, um, you know, waste my time doing all that. So. This is so pretty. The color is just so amazing. Um, I almost forgot about this lipstick because for like the past summer I was so on um, Rimi Wu and what's it? Yeah, I was so on the red lipstick. But this one is it's so pretty. It's almost like a red, but it's more of like a, I guess it's more of like a ber berry kind of fuchsia color. It's so pretty and it's just so gorgeous. So I really do like this one and I'm so looking forward to wearing this throughout the holidays. I have two more MAC lipsticks to talk about. Um, <clears throat> the first one is, I'm not going to do that one, the first one is the new one which is from the Riri Hearts MAC Fall Collection. If you watched the haul that I did, I did not, I was not able to get the lipsticks the first time around, but I got a tip from, a tip from Tiffany, thanks Tiffany, who um, put on her Instagram that they restocked, so I just stopped what I was doing and I just picked them, or threw them in that cart immediately and bought them. So, um, this is a very pretty new color and let's go ahead and put it on. This one is a, just a matte lipstick. So this is what it looks like and this is just a matte lipstick and the formula of this versus the formula of their retro matte lipsticks is way better. This one is way more creamier. It doesn't dry out my lips and I'm not, you know, constantly adding chapstick and it's just a very good milky formula. I love it. I really do love this color. Um, the only thing is that once it gets 
know like once after wearing it for a couple hours it does kind of like seep or yeah, I guess sink into the cracks of my lips and it makes me look like I smoke weed and I don't smoke so but the color is so pretty it's just amazing it's a perfect nude for me it reminds me a lot of fresh fresh view which is a satin permanent color and um if you guys see me or if you guys been watching since like day one you guys knew, know that I was on that lipstick so tough but this one is just so much more better and I, I really do love this lipstick I'm so happy I was able to get this like you guys just don't know how happy I was so the next one would be talk that talk which is a very deep it looks like it would be purple but it's more of like a um burgundy very deep very burgundy kind of color I don't know but um <clears throat> it does remind me a lot of diva by Mac but this is a lot darker this is a really gorgeous gorgeous color um, I know a lot of people didn't like it too much because they said it was patchy it is patchy and once it you know dries and sets it does make it just kind of looks mess but um what I've learned to do is just put a gloss over it and it's perfect it's a beautiful color This is what it looks like. It's so gorgeous. It's like, I love this color so much. This is an amazing, amazing color. I think it com complements my skin tone. I think it's just a really sexy lipstick color. It's an amazing color. So I was so happy that I was able to pick up this one as well. And last but not least is Poison Berry by Lime Crime. Um, I know you guys all seen this before, but isn't this just like the cutest packaging ever? This is so cute. Um, let's see. So this is what it looks like. It's like a very deep violet purple color. I love this color and it's the formula on this is amazing. It's very moisturizing. It's, it has like a little bit of a gloss to it. It's a really good lipstick. So this is what it looks like and like I said before it's like super moisturizing it does have like a little bit of a, a gloss to it which is why I love it so much and this color is oh my gosh I love this color it's just so bomb yes yes so thank you ladies for joining me and Nayla's makeup with our holiday lipstick collabo thank you guys so much for watching and hello to all my new subscribers thank you so so much for joining me and I'll be talking to you ladies soon bye